Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. As we all know that while designing the foundation, we should know the depth of footing as well as the depth of foundation. Sometimes we all get confused with what is depth of footing and what is depth of foundation. So in this video, let's discuss in detail about what is depth of foundation and how do we calculate the depth of foundation, what are all the factors which are affecting the depth of foundation and how we need to get the depth of foundation as per soil report. So let's begin now. First, let me start with what is depth of foundation and what is depth of footing. You all will be knowing this is the plan of the footing. If you take the section that looks like this here, this is the footing which will be constructed above the PCC. See here, 4 inch thick PCC is there. So above that, we need to construct the footing and footing has to be constructed up to some depth according to the design of the footing. So this is the depth of footing and what is depth of foundation? So this footing has to be constructed at a distance from ground level, some distance from the existing ground level. So how do we decide this distance? From natural ground level, some distance we need to excavate the earth and then we need to provide the foundation. So this distance from the natural ground level to some distance so that is the depth of foundation so now this is depth of footing depth of footing has to be provided some distance from the natural ground level so depth of foundation is from natural ground level how much distance we need to provide the footing so that is the depth of foundation to some depth we need to excavate the earth and then we need to provide the footing so that depth is the depth of foundation now let's discuss what is foundation as we all know that foundation is the part of the structure which carries the superstructure load and safely transfer to the soil below below ground level we call it as a substructure and above ground level we call it as a superstructure so foundation is the part of the substructure which carries all the superstructure load and safely transmit the load to the soil underneath in such a manner that so that the soil never fails in shear or never goes through excessive settlement. We have two types of foundation. One is shallow foundation and another one is deep foundation. We all know that shallow foundations are isolated footing, combined footing, raft footing and deep foundations are pile foundation, caisson foundation and well foundation. Next, let's discuss about the factors to be considered for determining the depth of foundation. First one is bearing capacity of soil and load from superstructure, water table level, types of soil. These are all the major factors which we need to consider while determining the depth of foundation. This foundation shall be placed at such a depth so that it is safe against damage due to swelling or sinkage or freezing of subsoil. This bearing capacity of soil is very very important factor. The bearing capacity of soil beneath the foundation must be adequate to support the load coming from foundation. So if the soil is loose or clayey soil or it has very low bearing capacity, it will not have the capacity to support the load coming from the foundation. So always we need to consider the bearing capacity of soil while determining the depth of foundation. If the foundation has to be placed on cohesive soil, then the settlement due to consolidation should not be excessive. So if, if the foundation, if the soil is cohesive, as I said before, if, if it is a clayey soil, then we need to check that settlement due to consolidation should not be excessive. In that case, we need to go for a more depth of foundation when compared to normal soil. So always it is a good practice to investigate the soil capacities like uh, physical and chemical properties because the presence of sulphate can damage the foundation so always it is very important to check the soil properties next minimum depth of foundation as per IS code IS 1904 1986 class number 7.2 has given minimum depth of foundation all foundations shall extend to a depth of at least 50 cm below natural ground level and rock or such other weather resisting natural ground removal of topsoil may be all that is required. 
in such cases the surface shall be cleaned and if necessary stepped or otherwise prepared so as to provide a suitable bearing and thus prevent slipping or other unwanted movements so as per is 1904 the minimum depth has to be 50 cm that is 500 mm let's discuss this is 1904 1986 depth of foundation is given in class 7 the depth of the depth to which foundation should be carried depends upon the following principal factors the securing of adequate allowable bearing capacity as we have discussed this allowable bearing capacity is very much important while considering the depth of foundation in the case of clayey soil penetration below the zone where shrinkage and swelling due to seasonal weather changes and due to trees and shrubs are likely to cause appreciable movement so when we have clayey soil we need to consider all these factors and we need to provide more depth of foundation when compared to the normal soil in fine sand and silt penetration below the zone in which trouble may be expected from frost the maximum depth of score wherever relevant should also be considered and the foundation should be located sufficiently below the this depth other factors such as ground movement and heat transmitted from the building to the supporting ground may be important as we have discussed before all foundation shall extend to a depth of at least 50 cm below natural ground level where there is excavation ditch pond watercourse filled up ground or similar condition adjoining or adjacent to the subsoil on which the structure is to be erected and which is likely to impair the stability of structure either the foundation of such structure shall be carried down to a depth beyond the determinantal influence of such conditions or retaining walls or similar work shall be constructed for the purpose of shielding from their effects so this is also very important when we have such kind of water course nearby the structure we need to consider these factors clay soils like black cotton soil are seasonally affected by drying shrinkage and cracking in dry and hot weather conditions and by swelling in the following wet weather to a depth which will vary according to the nature of the clay and the climatic condition of the region so it is necessary in this soil either to place the foundation bearing at such depth where the effect of seasonal changes are not important or to make the foundation capable of eliminating the undesirable effect due to the relative movement by providing flexible type of construction or rigid foundations next soil investigation report it is always advised to consider the soil investigation report before deciding the depth of foundation soil investigation report suggests the depth of foundation as per type of structure soil properties and depth of water table also soil investigation report provide the safe bearing capacity of soil at different levels and at different locations let's look into the soil investigation report for reference in soil report the recommendations are given based on the subsurface conditions revealed from the field investigation and laboratory test result engineering analysis and previous practical experience in the area with the soil and rock materials encountered and in general taking into consideration the nature and type of load that the proposed development of structure will transmit to the underlying soil or rock layers it is concluded that the proposed structure can be satisfactorily supported by the ground materials at the site provided that the following recommendations are followed so according to this recommendations the bearing capacity of soil has been given wall footings or individual footing may be designed with the below mentioned net safe bearing pressure that means they have taken the bearing capacity at two level that is the depth you have to note it here this is the depth two types of depth they have taken 1.5 meter here begl is below existing ground level so at 1.5 meter depth from existing ground level we have the net safe bearing pressure as 160 kN per meter square and at 2 meter depth from the existing ground level we have the net bearing pressure as 175 kN per meter square so from this you can conclude that 
when the bearing capacity of soil increases that is the safe bearing capacity the depth of foundation also getting increases the following net safe bearing pressure can be considered for design of foundation so for the design of foundation we can use this net safe bearing pressure and then we can arrange the size of the footing the following net safe bearing pressure can be considered for design of foundation for the proposed structure with an allowable settlement of 25 mm so the allowable settlement shall be 25 mm so when the soil report is not available we can calculate the depth of foundation by using this rankins formula it provide the guidance on minimum depth of foundation assuming that the foundations are not affected by factors such as water table frost action types and properties of soil and so on this formula does not consider the loads from the structure on foundation h is the minimum depth of foundation so h is equal to p by gamma into 1 minus sin phi by 1 plus sin phi the whole square here h is the minimum depth of foundation e is the gross bearing capacity gamma is the density of soil phi is angle of repose or internal friction of soil so here gross bearing capacity that is the safe bearing capacity of soil is directly proportional to the depth of foundation so when the gross bearing capacity increases the depth of foundation is also getting increases let's calculate the minimum depth of foundation by using rankine's formula here gross bearing capacity of soil is 250 kN per m2 density of soil is 18 kN per m3 angle of repose is 30 degree so if we solve this we get the minimum depth of foundation as 1.54 meter so friends i hope you all like this video if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe this channel for getting more videos and if you want to support this channel super thanks button has been enabled in our channel kindly log in to your account and below this video super thanks button will be there you can just click on that and pay some amount and support this channel if you have any queries please do comment in the comment box your comments are always welcome Thank you for watching